Hey guys, it's almost Thanksgiving, so I figured I'd do an extra plump squishy makeover for the occasion. My squishy makeover series is inspired by Mariah Elizabeth. I have two little sailor bears who I think are pretty cool. Not quite evil though. <laughs> you guys are gross. <laughs> So I'm gonna be reevaluating their whole look. I want them to look more festive. <laughs> Speaking of festive, those of you guys following me on Insta might already know this, but for those of you who aren't following me, <laughs> well, why not? But yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I told you guys I'd update you and a lot of you guys are asking about it. So I just wanted to let everyone know here that we won the door decorating contest for Halloween. <laughs> Huge thanks to Ted, the web developer, and his minions, Stubby and Daddy Longlegs. Awesome job. And also, thank you to my fiance. For being the willing sacrifice. Get me out. But anyways, that's enough Halloween. Let's pretend like we care about Thanksgiving for two seconds. So here's the two lovebirds. Hey guys. Straight off a three month cruise all the way from AliExpress. And that's not exaggerating at all. About time you guys showed up. They're wearing matching outfits. They're one of those couples. <laughs> Get a room. It's young love. I'm sure they'll start hating each other's guts soon enough. <laughs> Not anytime soon, though. For now, we're just gonna separate both of them and solely focus on Papa Bear. He's sailed the seven seas. That's why it took him so long to get here. But now he's here, and he's not going anywhere. Ever again. So time to settle down. He needs a change of clothes and a career. I promise I'm not, like, putting him on the table in every video. He just really jumps up and refuses to stay out of the limelight. I tried sanding down Papa Bear. Can I just do this? <laughs> Sniveldorf thought I was being a little too gentle. He wanted to show me how it's done. He's got plenty of experience with not being Ow. gentle. Anyways, now that we got through that whole ordeal, time to pull out the soft mat, the blobby bottle. The more, the more opaque, opaque fabric, fabric paint. paint. The, one the one that, that helps, helps the, layers the layers go, go on faster. faster. It literally used to take me a whole entire day just to paint two squishies white. This soft mat is a game changer. Very different from regular mat. I just mix that with some slick paint and that helps the colors all build up a lot quicker. Days <laughs> quicker. Do you think I'm joking? Normally I like to take a squishy and turn it into a completely different animal or creature or whatever. Oops. I usually don't keep a bear a bear, but I think you can make cool squishies without having to change their entire species every time. So today the bears are staying bears. I have a character named Honey, and I also have a character named Buttercup who loves eating honey. Not the same honey. So now continuing with my affinity for honey, I've decided to paint this bear a honey color. He's a Pooh Bear, but not THE Pooh Bear. More just a regular Pooh Bear. It's a little similar to the color they already were, just a little more vibrant and yellow. These bears are gonna be pilgrims, so I'm dressing them up in standard pilgrim garb. Itch. He's dressed pretty conservatively, head to toe basic black attire, not trying to draw any attention. Complete 180 from his flamboyant red ribbon days. Instead, he's accessorizing with a black stump on his head. It's gonna be a top hat. Don't question his fashion choices. Now that I've covered up all the white layers I did with some black paint, I've decided... No. He needs some white peeking through. White triangles. Adds wow. dimension. In case it's not obvious, it's supposed to be a collar. I also added in some white cuffs to match. Pull the look together. Also some more white lines to go around. And a couple buttons. Wouldn't want that coming undone. Modesty. He does have pants on, though no feet or shoes. Maybe it's a onesie? I think this buckle right here really makes it obvious he's a pilgrim. Or else, up until this point, he just looked like a bear in a black onesie. He's more than that. Okay, that's enough. I liked the buckle so much I decided to add a few more. One to his belt and one on each of his little feeties. That's right, it's not a onesie anymore. These stumps are now black boots. I made his snout a few shades lighter, but kept his little smile. He was happy in his sailor days, and now he's happy in his pilgrim days. Just happy to be alive. Good for you. I started sketching out what I wanted him to look like. He's got a little side-eye situation going on, sussing the place out. He's just judging whatever evil is afoot, deciding whether to partake or not. He'll give in. Even the biggest sparkle butts have a dark side. <laughs> 
well hidden, but I know it's there. Speaking of the dark side, I made some new merch for the holidays. It's just one design, something that really spoke to me. It's really just meant to be silly. It says, another day, another meltdown. <laughs> This design is only going to be available for a limited time, until January. So if you want one, make sure to grab one soon. Clock's a ticking. Also, quite a few of you guys asked me to bring back the Honey and Boo Boo joggers. My fiance had gotten the Boo Boo ones. They're very comfortable and soft and fuzzy. I even ended up getting myself a pair of the Honey ones. Sometimes we wear them out together. Hey, you're getting the hang of it. <laughs> how do you know how to do this? Cute, cute. But yeah, those are back for those of you who wanted them. There's a bunch of different styles and color options for everything, so I hope you guys get a chance to check out the link. I'll leave it down below. All right, Mama Bear's turn. You can tell she's the girl because she's got a couple bows, and she's <laughs> blushing. Papa Bear's always making her blush. She's a little less modest than Papa Bear. She likes to feel a little breeze. Let it all air out. I do. She's got a few bumps and bruises here and there. She slipped on the poop deck a couple times. I did. Time to scrub away her pain. A little exfoliation to help with that scarring. Here come the flamingo scissors. She insisted on taking off her bow. She says it's time. It's kind of fused into her skull, so I had to snip it off. There. Now she's liberated. Time to cover up this whole mess with white fabric paint. Whoops. Sorry about that. She'll walk it off. Just like Papa Bear, she's also a Pooh Bear, so I'm giving her that same bright honey color for her fur. Mama Bear is also a pilgrim. She's going to be wearing a standard pilgrim dress. She's got on a little black dress. Teeny tiny dress. Very short. With a white collar and some white ruffles underneath. Classy. Pilgrims wore a lot of bonnets back in the day. It's honestly a look. Even Sniffledorf has tried out the trend. so I'm giving her a little bonnet to go with her dress. It's kinda hard painting a bonnet on the squishy. It kinda just looks like a hood, but a sad attempt was made. I tried to keep it a bit separate from her dress to make sure people can tell it's separate. It's not attached. It's not a hood. Definitely not a helmet. It's a bonnet. I need you to know that. She's grinning from ear to ear. Well, more like from one side of her snout to the other side. You get the idea. I wanted her to have a mischievous look. Didn't want anyone to confuse her for a sparkle butt. No. She's evil. Bad to the bone. Clearly. I added in some eyelashes because, you know, she's a girl. Someone pointed out that guys have eyelashes too, and that's a fair point. Noted. She's very excited about this whole Thanksgiving feast. I wanted to create some separation between her bonnet and her fur. They're not fused together, so I'm adding a little shadow around her bonnet. I'm bringing back some blush on her too. Papa Bear hasn't quite lost his touch yet. He's still always making her blush. Aww. Mama Bear and Papa Bear are really hungry, as pilgrims often are. In honor of Thanksgiving and in the spirit of being thankful, they've decided to massacre a duck. The logic doesn't make sense to me either. This was Mama Bear's idea. She was very excited about the whole duck thing. The feelings are not mutual though. The duck was not happy. He's not very stable. <laughs> you okay, buddy? Get yourself together. He refuses to stand for the crowd. I actually got two ducks. They came as a set. Only one of them will make it through this video alive. I'm leaving the other one out for some other time. It's your lucky day. I'm planning on turning this one into a turkey. <laughs> one turkey is enough for the feast. No one even likes turkey anyway. The ducks come with this keychain thing. Nice touch. They're little toasted ducks or something. Little butter ducks. It actually helps that they have a flat back, and you'll see why in a second. All right, say your goodbyes. I've got your back, buddy. I'm going to take off the keychain. He's serving a new purpose now. Time to break out the flamingo scissors again. I tried to chop off his little hair stub, but on second thought, it might actually be easier to just rip it off. I was wrong. Turns out I did need the flamingo scissors after all. My old faithful. Your head must feel 10 milliances lighter. That was an intense surgery. But happy to say I was successfully able to remove the whole tumor. Awesome job. Now that's something to be thankful for. He didn't say thank you though. You ungrateful little. So I decided to teach him some manners. He's learning quackly. 
The whole surgery left a gaping Whoa. hole in his head. I'm just filling that in with some puffy paint. And now, it's time to drown him in white fabric paint. Get him ready for the Thanksgiving feast. After all, he's the main course. I mean guest. Main guest. Shh. I haven't told him he's the meal yet. Ducks and turkeys look pretty different. He doesn't have the right color for the job. But I'm about to fix that with the help of Barney's foot. Oh boy. It's a multifunctional foot. It's gonna be the turkey's butt feathers. So I hot glued that stump on. It's a little too obvious that it belonged to Barney. So I painted it white to blend in. Wouldn't want anyone asking any questions. Why is Barney missing a foot? I then painted him a nice chocolate mousse color. And I thought mustard would go well with chocolate mousse, so his tail's a bright mustard color. I slathered on a million layers to cover up the texture as best as possible. A little extra mustard never hurts. I added a bit of detailing to the feathers. Ended up looking kinda like a waffle cone. I'll take it. Could be worse. I wanted to give the turkey a new expression, but I had to work with his little duck bill thing. So we're just gonna keep that orange. Same with his tiny feet. All turkeys have gobbles, and this one's no exception. I wanted him to look like a deer in the headlights. I tried capturing the moment where I told him he's the whole meal for tonight's festivities. Remember, this was Mama Bear's idea. We don't question Mama Bear. He started sweating and drooling a bit. He didn't know whether to sweat with fear or drool just thinking about how delicious he's gonna be. It might not look like it, but he's actually gained some stability in his life. He's not just falling over all the time now. Instead, he's just gonna fall one more time onto our plate. Looks like turkey's on the menu. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. This is gonna sound very cheesy, but I'm grateful for all of you. I'll be really thankful if you click on the top right or bottom left. Now excuse me while I go stuff the turkey. <laughs>